In today's video, we become the great Tanji Goat Kamado in Project Slayers. There's many difficult tasks we must handle, from getting the 0.1% Kamado clan, to completing the final selection, and even defeating the strongest boss in the game. And to start this vid off, we're spinning for the Kamado clan. I'm literally spinning for the rarest clan in the game, so we might break our banks on this one. And break our bank it did. Free spins. <gasps> oh, I saw a diamond of the will. Bad bro. Wait, wait, she needs a goblin, of course. Of course. With $60 down the drain and still no combo though, I began to lose hope up until this happened. <gasps> we got it, we got it, we got it. Boys, 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 bro, 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 bro. And with the first task out the way, our next step is, we gotta create Tanji Goat. What is this, bro? My boy's bald. Let me pull up a picture of Tanji Goat right here. You guys can see that hair right there. Let's try to recreate that. I think this looks pretty good. Out of everyone in the game, number 14 was the one that looked the best to me. What I got for the eyes, scar, and mouth. And I'm going with this for the clothing for now. I think this is a good looking Tanji Goat, boys. All right, we're now in game. Don't mind the fact that I'm already level 10. It's because I put a code in and it gave me XP. So our first initial objective right now is to get to level 12 so we can get our breathing style. But I also need to get some money so I can get my my katana i'm gonna do one of these delivery quests so i can get some money little did i know i would run into an issue while trying to finish this quest bro this bows over here is just camping people trying to do the delivery quest now this demon's over here defending him yes sir let's just jump him bro let's jump him oh ooh, let's go pack him up pack him up oh we got him we got him mid Die, my boy. <laughs> yeah, take your soul. Take your soul. How you gonna prey on noobs, bro, and get mad at that when you lose, bro? L mans, L mans. Bro's back. You're lucky I reset my thunder breathing. I'll kick you. <laughs> <laughs> he just boys down bad, bro. <laughs> Level 56? That boy is trash. That boy is trash. After that altercation, the grind continued so we could move on to our next step getting water breathing and just like that boys we not only have gotten 5,000 plus when we're now level 15 too so let's go get our water breathing we're going to have to complete many different tasks in order to learn the water breathing style the first of many is cutting the boulder outside this is straight from the iconic moment in the anime and we're gonna have to recreate it in this game for this objective you type out the keys as they show up on the screen and when the bar at the middle goes green, you are done with the challenge. You're gonna need to hit me with some harder objectives, Uta Kodaki. Find glowy rocks in the river. We go out the waterfall, go down here, and we have to find rocks under the river. Oh, my oxygen, bro. Chill. Oh, I almost drowned there, it looked like, bro. Oh, two for the price of one. Oh, dude, I'm drowning. I died. That's crazy. All right, let's just pretend that that never happened. Let's go back into water. Jeez, bro, the oxygen levels go down quick. Let me get that that get back up get back up objective completed that was some light work with Kadaki. totally didn't just almost die there all right now back to the main objective you guys can see that point right there is where we're supposed to pull the boulder to all right we rolling up on the point right now let's get this in there and see what Uda Kadaki has for us next it seems that you've gathered enough strength to spar with my student but you have not mastered the art of breathing okay well that boy just straight up interrupted me train your lungs for water breathing meditate ah yes the old meditation mat I know a lot of people struggle with this one. I personally find it pretty easy to do. I think maybe one more. There we go, boys. Final objective. Defeat Sabito. You about to be light work, my boy. You about to be light work. Yes, sir. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Chill, my boy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bro, became a Beyblade, bro. Chill. <laughs> what is this? Indomitable will. Yes, sir. Up to combo. Boom. 14 more health. This is it, boys. No, oh, no, no, no. This is it. This is it. There we go. We learned water breathing. Breathe in. And let's use our first move, Water Slash. Ooh, 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 that is sick. And now we're ready for the final selection, or so I thought it was. I still had about two hours left until the final selection started. So I might as well use this time to level up and get more water breathing moves. And that is exactly what I did. So the grind continued at Ushimaru Village, and I stayed there until I unlocked my last move. So now let's do a move showcase. First move, Water Surface Slash. Second move, Water Wheel. I actually really do like this move. It's kind of a little bit of a mobility move too. Third move, Water Serpent, and our only projectile based move. Fourth move, Ripple Thrust. That move has a lot of knockback, so you should use that if you're trying to wall combo somebody. Now the fifth move we have is Waterfall Basin, a mobility move. As you guys can see, it goes very far distance. Our last move, we need to defeat Giyu to unlock it, but we'll do that after we pass the final selection. Now we still have some time before the final selection starts, so let's level up our breathing. I'm not gonna lie, having to stand still and charge every time is kind of dead. 
Now to level up your breathing, you go to Butterfly Mansion and you go into this little dojo. What you have to do is you have to buy these gourds. From level one breathing to level three, which is the max, you'll need to have 15k win. So we'll only be able to get to level two for this. And my last big gourd blow, wait, 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 pause. So let's start making our way over to the final selection. Less than 10 seconds on the clock and I've got my boy Lestone here to help me. Three, two, one. We thank you all for coming out tonight to complete the Demon Slayer Core final selection. There are demons imprisoned, captured alive by the Demon Slayer swordsmen, and unable to flee. Find Beth and she will direct you. Okay, we're not in the final select. Here's the first quest we gotta pick up right here, and she's just gonna have us find her katana. Now, a couple of important things to mention about the final selection is that you only have three lives, and you don't heal in the final selection. And her katana is right here. The next quest is over there, so let's go pick that up. We need to defeat Sakurai demons, which are known to be the weakest demons in the game. So we need to kill 10 of these. Yes, sir, my boy Lasona helped me out. Two down right there. That's four on the dot right there. And this is the last demon of this quest right here, boys. We trying to speed run through this final selection. <laughs> All right, why are you crying? Where did my food go? I could have sworn I had an apple, a strawberry, and a banana in my pocket. Oh, this quest, I hated this one. We gotta find the fruits, bro. And they actually kind of blend in with the area pretty well. It seems my boy found one of them. We got the apple right here. Banana right over here. Only one remains, which is the apple. Yep, the apple is right here. It looks like we actually finished this pretty quick. We have to kill seven of these Yoai demons for the next objective oh my boy's feeling brave he's gotten all these guys all together all right bet um, i mean we finished the quest but bro your boy is down <laughs> we need to go get some bandages bro we are on the final quest we have all three of our lives remaining and now we have to defeat the big boss the hand demon oh man my boy my boy over here really just fighting this dude's like hand to hand my boy is brave could not be me oh oh bro get off me and so the long battle against this demon continued up until dawn. We are on the last stretch. I died once. I didn't want to show that. He says 78 health left. 44. Let's do it. Let's do it. We ain't no little babies. Ooh. What did we get? Bro, there's no way we only got a health elixir from a tier 10 chest. Oh my god. God, bro. And just like that, we are now slayers. And being that we're new demon slayers, we also have access to the crow quests, which will help us during our process of leveling up. And now only two objectives remain. Get Tanjiro's Nichiren and Haori, and defeat Giyu to get constant flux. So this is the Giyu boss right here. And this guy is arguably the hardest boss in the game, I won't lie. He has a 10% chance of dropping the constant flux skill, which is the skill I need. He also drops a tier two chest, which we can get this Nishirin sword and the Howery from that. Now I know I'm supposed to go for Tanjiro Nishirin, but while farming Giyu, I got something even better. <gasps> Bro, that's Insect Katana. Bro, that's literally the rarest Katana in the game. There's no way. That's right, boys. We got Insect Katana, the rarest sword in the game, which only has a 1% chance of dropping. And with 50 plus Gi runs and no luck, I went back to the final selection. In order to get, see what we get. Bro, we finally got Tanjiro's Howery. And now only one objective remains. And the audio for this one got corrupted, but this is where I learned Constant Flux. And here's what Constant Flux does. So you go to an NPC and you hold N, and it does basically this dragon attack, and it ends off with a little slam hit. Important to note that if any single one of these hits land, it's instant stun. And that has been Noob to Tanjigo. Let me know if y'all enjoyed this, and I will see y'all in the next one.